Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья! С вами вновь Казуков Эмили, и мы продолжаем проходить такую игру, как Элиза. Всем присаживайтесь поудобнее, ставьте чайочек, кофеечек, а мы приступим и посмотрим, что будет дальше. Всем приятного просмотра! Speaking of therapeutic activities, it's time to do some baking. I've got the dough all set out downstairs. Выпечка. We're going to do three batches tonight, three different kinds. Three kinds? You're really outdoing yourself, Ray. <laughs> no, this is nothing. Oh, I have a favor to ask, by the way. Next time you talk to Rainer, ask him what his favorite type of cookie is. Uh-huh. Глава четвертая. О, -о, О. Прикольное местечко. Я бы сказал. А -а -а. Well, what do you think? It was... it was nice. It was like I could close my eyes and feel myself in another place. But I didn't completely lose awareness of the real world. It was more like a mental... Remarkable technology, isn't it? I've had others who tried it tell me it's akin to a state of higher consciousness. Aware, but totally serene, totally pe... Here's a thought experiment for you. Say there was a certain medical procedure that could remove your suffering. No side effects, no cost, just an operation that would make you permanently happy. Would you get it? You have these philosopher types arguing you shouldn't do that because sadness and suffering are part, or that the happiness you'd experience isn't real, so it doesn't count. What a load of bullshit. If there was something effective at taking my pain away, I refuse to believe that being alive means having to suffer. Oh, forgive me, I forgot to ask. Would you like some scotch as well? Hmm. Sure. Sure. The Glen Cadam. Beautiful, light, luminous taste. Not ah, if only psychotherapy worked as well as a single glass of well-made whiskey, huh? If alcohol wasn't poison, I wouldn't have to invent anything now, would I? I do think we did some good work at Skanda, but I always knew there were going to be limits to the Eliza approach. I was a counseling psychologist for a long time, you know. I understand the shortcomings. So much of it can feel like a waste of time, talking through everything, dredging up the past. It's all going to look completely ineffectual compared to what comes. With direct stimulation and induced dreaming, we can take control of our own brain. There's no reason we couldn't just eliminate this epidemic of despair for everyone. Ever imagine it? Anger, depression, emptiness, anxiety, jealousy. And to think Rainer wanted nothing to do with this. He didn't think it was possible. Rainer is one of the ones who thinks negative emotions are important. He told me he thinks pain should be regulated, not eliminated. After all, why would anyone write a poem or make art if they only felt happiness? He also said he was afraid of the way it would look in the media. A company as large as Skanda coming out with a product that all the sorry excuses we have for public intellectuals today would throw a fit about how dystopia... It's better if a small startup takes the fall if public opinion turns against this. Those are the objections he claimed to have, at least. There's another one. If people are self-sufficient, they don't need an ongoing support system. A system provided by an all-knowing... Wait, you think Rainer wants people to stay miserable, so they stay dependent on mental health? Yes. 
Yes, I, it's quite the accusation, I know. Not something I'd come out and say in public. But you see, the people who come to Eliza regularly, the more they integrate with Skanda's mental wellness tools, the more they... That's the real dystopia, don't you think? Rendered helpless... Uh, excuse me for one second. Так, можно осмотреться. Так, с... Та -та 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 -та. Так. Evelyn, I really think you, of all people... I get it, but you don't think it's dangerous. You're essentially making technology that changes what people think is real. Evelyn, you're much more concerned than you used to be about this kind of... I remember when you would dive headfirst into anything that held a promise, even a fleeting one, to help. What changed your mind to make you so wary, so skeptical now? Can I ask you something, Soren? What did you tell Damien? Oh, this again. Don't tell me we had all of this wonderful conversation tonight, and now you're trying to blame me. Who put you up to this? Was, was it Nora? I just want to know the truth, Soren. Nobody thought we could do it. You remember that. There was skepticism from day. I had to defend us constantly from other project managers who didn't like that we existed. Some of those were vicious. Amid all that, I had to be a leader. Part of that meant giving everyone on the team accurate information. So I was honest. Honest in saying and I was honest when I said we'd never survive if we didn't have some. That was the reality. Without a product, a guy like Rainer has access to anything he wants. If you're pitching, that's what we were up against. So many mornings, I would get into work and see Damien there. At first, I thought he was getting up earlier than me, but then I noticed he was still... Then, one morning, I got in. Evelyn, please. I wanted everyone on the team to be healthy. I think that's so obvious it doesn't need to be... Did I instruct you to work until you injured yourself? It was a tragedy, and I'm very sorry that it happened. I, but I wasn't telling Damien to pull all-nighters. He was an adult. He made... And besides, what about your role in all this? If you notice, none of that behavior was unusual for Skanda anyway. It, there isn't a single cause you can isolate in a case like... Sitting in one place for two chronic stress. Both of those are risk factors. Evelyn, I'm truly, truly sorry about what happened to Damien. Но Дэмиан это ее парень, и там трагедия какая-то произошла. Вот. He had a bright future, and it was a shock to all of us. But the answers here aren't simple ones. Dwelling on it isn't going to bring it, nor is discussing the huge number of potential causes of pulmonary embolism. It happened. 
But now we have to... It felt like everything stopped. All of the work we were doing might as well have crumbled into dust. We were trying to build something to help the... What was the point? There didn't seem to be a point anymore. I know that you cared about him. The process of grief can go... But you're taking the right steps. You're regaining your sense of purpose, aren't you? The experience of suffering is what makes us want to end suffering. It's late, and I've, I've had quite a bit to drink. So I'll tell you a secret. I said I want to end human suffering, which makes me sad. But I'm not doing it for humankind. I'm doing I have nothing. I've ruined every relation. I hardly ever see my kids, and, well, I want to end my own suffering, but I can't bring myself to do it the traditional way. The idea that everyone else could use it to. Soren, are you okay? No, not at all. I'm aware of that. I'm not a good person, Evelyn. Neither is Rainer, of course, but at least I'm honest. So, now that that's all out in the open... You... Yes, I'll get going. I hope you can feel better. No, I'll be fine. Just please... Consider you and I are both more familiar with pain than we might. What if you could take that away? Each of us has a destiny to fulfill. I truly believe that. I'm sure yours will come into focus soon. Так. SMS ka prešla. Что еще? О, прикольно. Ясненько. Этот самый чувак. Эм, так, подожди-ка. Hello, Harman. Yes, yes. Uh, we can just get down to it. Sure, we can do that. Uh -huh. What brings you here today? Um, uh... It's okay to tell me what's on your mind. I um, I slept with Sylvia. To think I'm so nervous about approaching her that I went and got... A week later, we happened to be in the library, and I just started talking with her. We talked like a train, following tracks laid out for it years uh -huh. ago. Aha, spy is next. Crazy thing. Craziest thing. Now I'm confounded. Absolutely confounded. How did that happen? And also, why did it happen? I'm thinking, was something wrong? Did, did I do something wrong? Did she do something wrong? I have no idea if we have a relationship now. It happened so fast. I mean, it was wonderful. It felt so right, but I'm actually more frightened now than I was before. I should probably say something, right? Text her or something? What do I do? What if she ignores me? What if she decides to pretend I don't exist? It seems to me you're afraid of something. Yes, yes. I'm quite worried. But I need to say something. Follow up somehow, right? In the Heian period of classical Japanese history, you were supposed to send a poem. A more such a stuffy? I don't appear like some ridiculous... Uh, something casual is better, right? Hey, how are you? Did you have fun? I sure did. Well, I don't know. I don't know what a stat is right now. 
There's another problem too, another really big problem. How do I tell this? Wait, of course, I am not going to tell her. Did I mention this last time? I have a sort of girlfriend. Liz is nice, the kind of person everyone approves of. What? Yeah. I, uh, I suppose I might have taken a bit of a... Why did I do that? I keep coming back to my own inability to explain myself. Why do you think you're unable to explain yourself? Well, because I thought Sylvia was so wonderful, and it turned out, well, it turned out that she liked me too, and, I mean, I, I'd love to pursue a relationship with Sylvia without harming Liz. I'm not sure that's possible, though. I can't believe this. I got what I wanted, and it ruined my life. What do I tell Liz? She doesn't deserve someone like me who does things like this. I ruined it. Ruined everything. Can you describe what you mean when you say... Well, what is there left now? I've overturned my entire existence. The real problem here is Sylvia. The whole can't stop thinking about her now. It's bad. Oh, it's bad. It's constant. It's relentless. Even now, you're a computer. You don't know what that's like. Yeah. I need a way to forget this. I need a way to put all that out of my mind. Huh. My brain is completely out of order. I'm being punished. And the punishment reaches cosmic levels of irony. I used to hate, absolutely hate, self-pitying novels by men who are messed up over a relationship and, oh, she was wild and beautiful. Oh, a force of nature. Nobody could understand her, etc., etc. I thought I was so much better than those types of writers. <laughs> Oh, yes. I get it. Oh, I understand it. There's so much pain. Why did you think you were so much better than those types of writers? Because it was such a cliché. Now I'm wondering, am I going to be next? Is that my fate? Cliché. Am I going to become the next straight male English professor whose one published novel is about not being... Uh, you have to be kidding me. I can't allow myself that fate. Uh -huh. I have something better to pursue, didn't I? I have to write about something else. My life has to be the story of something else, but oh, I don't know where to go from here. I need to try to get over this. I need to get over her. I must. Yes, I must. That if I tell Liz everything and apologize sincerely and strike, it will take great care and cunning, but I may be able to win, even though I fear at any moment I might slip. Dead. Dead. Never seen. Oh, sweet, dark death. Parliament, I'm going to suggest you try a program huh? called Meta. It may help you take your mind off things. You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Try it for about 15 minutes each day, in the morning or evening. Meadowlands. I'm off to the Meadowlands. Familiar ground. Grass and warmth. Reverting to my childhood. The state of nature. Yeah, this is a good recommendation. Yes, you are a... you are a genius, in fact. You computer program wiser than you know i'm sure this is exactly what i need to revert to a state of wonder at this moment when the mundane world and all its entanglement you will get a reminder to check in with us in a few weeks <laughs> i'll be back sooner than that if this works we hope to see you back soon harman thank you for speaking with eliza your personal counseling partner Duh. Uh-huh. Goodbye. See you. Yes, yep, see you.
Ah. Следующий клиент. Снова она, Майя. Hello, Maya. Thank you for coming back. Yeah. Mm, I wish I could afford a real therapist, but this is just gonna have to do. Sorry, I don't know if you're sensitive to that or. Why don't we get started? Sure. So, uh, I feel. Worse than before. <laughs> Definitely worse. Um, I played the game you told me to with the meadows and stuff, and um, it was nice, but when I got back to the real world, everything was the same. I don't know why you people think I can stand in a nice place for 15 minutes and not all... Am, am, am I wrong? Am I, am, I, am I misunderstanding something? It isn't making me more successful. It isn't giving me opportunity. I mean, I feel like I'm already in my mid-30s, and I'm, like, running out of... Meanwhile, the people I know are being written up. But all I have is... All I have is... Where do you think these feelings come from? Mm -hmm. It's the popularity. It's all a popularity contest, you know? It's like, it's like high school all over again. I hate it. I guess I'm just not that funny or pretty or catty enough to attract followers. I mean, I work and I work and, and, I, and I work to make things and I know I have things to say. I really do. But when I open my mouth, it's like time and time starts again when I finish. So nobody reacts or anything. It's like a curse from mythology. And meanwhile, these other people, people my age, people, and I don't know, seeing that happen, seeing that happen, oh, try, I really try to hold it back, but knowing all these people, it's like a millstone around my neck, strangling me, drowning me, I, I can't stop myself, I, I, I wish I could escape, I wish I could not care, but then something comes up again, and I'm trapped. What's an example of something that comes up that causes this? Mm -hmm. Well, there's... <clears throat> There's one woman, and her work is... <laughs> I don't get it. I just... I don't understand. She gets so much... And somehow everyone's predisposed to... I mean, maybe I do get it. I, I feel like people pay attention to her work, not because it's good on its own, but because supporting her, the way she's aligned herself, it's like, if you support her, it means... And if I'm not publicly supportive of her and generally tolerant of her mediocre work, then I'm the bad one. Which I guess maybe I am. It's not fair. I hate that there's this part of... But it's there. It's there. Do you think you would be better off mm -hmm. without that part of you? No, know, I don't. In the past, I probably would have said, no, it's important for me to have my sense of judgment. Now I'm wondering if maybe that hasn't been more of a hindrance. Maybe I should just forget all that. Forget about trying to do this thing. I'm sick of trying and wanting. I'm sick of parties. I'm sick of art. I I'm sick of my own art, which works. <laughs> Not even myself. Something has to change. Something drastic has to happen to change things around. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I got your message about revealing my data the other day, and I think, well... Okay, Maya. It sounds like you're interested in participating. Let me know if you have any questions about how this mode works. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna let you look at my life, right? Everything? Thank you for asking about transparency mode. Transparency mode is an experimental uh -huh. feature for Eliza. It allows me to analyze your communications in order to help you better. To participate, you must grant me access to certain personal data. This includes your personal communications, such as email and chat histories. Sharing this data improves my ability to help you. Some guy at the bar was yammering at me about how it's a terrible idea because they're gonna surveil me or something. Huh. But what the hell? I can't use my life history for anything. It's a ruin already. So do what you want with it. God, I feel like I'm donating my body to science. 
Please confirm that you would like to enable transparency mode. Yes, do it. Invade my privacy. Invade it like the Visigoths invaded Rome. I don't know why I said that. I was really weird thing. I did not understand your response. I would like to participate in transparency mode. Okay, Maya. I have registered you for transparency mode. Cool. Huh. Wouldn't life be easy if all I had to do was follow your directions? Like the lady sitting in the chair across from me. I envy you. I honestly do. The terms of service and privacy policy are available in the Skanda service portal. Please read and review these documents carefully. Yeah, no, for sure. I study closely. That's a joke. I really just click agree as fast as I can. Thank you, Maya. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Huh. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Bye. Ага. Ясно. Так. Well, look who's got access to transparency mode all of a sudden. The client asked for it by name. I guess I didn't know it existed. Hmm. Yeah, we don't really talk about it right now. It's a little sensitive. It's possible Skanda contacted her directly. They recruit for the program. Usually, transparency mode is only handled by the highest level, but you were given access to it right after the request. It's a little... I wonder if someone at HQ hasn't taken a particular interest in your proxy career. Or maybe Eliza just likes me. <laughs> it would, yeah. wouldn't it? I never thought people would willingly open themselves up like this. Aren't there a lot of very private things in people's messages? Yes and no. The truth is usually pretty mundane. People text each other, where are you? I'm by the elevator. Way more the critics who are always going on about privacy. Well, the important thing is that everyone participating in transparency mode specifically agreed to. We're upfront about what data we collect and how we use it so people... That's good. I'd hate to see it misused. Yeah, the media would jump all over us. There are a lot of people who want to see us fail. Just something that happens when you try to change things. Some people get so used to their misery, they can't imagine. Anyway, you should get an email about it, but transparent. It's even simpler than being a proxy, which is you just read a few messages and answer some questions. That's it. You can start it whenever you're ready. Sure. Так. Опа на. Рокси. Ладненько. Кто следующий? Чего? А это уже что? Привет, Майя? Ага. Газета. Офигеть.
текстовых, а где текстовые сообщения? А -а -а. Так. Ага. Ага. Ireland. Thanks for meeting up with me on kind of short notice. I didn't mean to worry you, it's just something I wanted to talk about. It's fine. What happened? Well, what happened was... Or should I start? First of all, Rainer wants Eliza to be more than something that's used just for... He sees it as more of a general system for talking to people. The counseling is just one of a whole range of apps he has in... So I've heard. Okay, so, in service of developing these things, Rainer wants us to make copies of some of them not even Skanda teams. Contractors, vendors... Sounds like a big file to move around. It is, but that's not the problem. What's the problem? Well, so we're fine with sharing Eliza with whoever wants it? Anyone just gets access to the corpus? Sounds like a pretty typical process. That's how big companies work, isn't it? Hmm. I know, but... 
It just feels wrong to let all these teams poke and prod at it like it's a spec. Who knows what they'll do with it? Eliza is built from people's real thoughts and feelings. I wouldn't say it has humanity, but it was built from humanity. There's something there. So when Rainer talks about it like we'll just duplicate this data set and have the labs do whatever it is they're going to do, how do we know they'll treat it with the respect it deserves and not just pry it open? It bothers me. I know, it's silly. I know it's just data. I shouldn't care about this stuff. Erwin. Uh-huh. This is the first time I've heard a concern like this. I know where you're coming from, though. Sometimes you grow attached to the thing. Yeah, I've put a lot of thought and work into Eliza since I inherited it. It's natural that maybe I'm a little protective, right? Thought maybe you'd feel the same way. I do. I agree with you. The moment we say things are just data is the moment we enable all- I just wish I knew what to do. What choice do you have? I'm not sure. This is the first time something like- I did take an ethics of engineering course in school, but the examples were all pretty clear-cut problems. Would you- I didn't expect my personal feelings to be mixed up. <laughs> Listen to me talk. Eliza being special. So I'd be a laughing stock if I started saying those things at the office. My co-workers would say, Come on, Erlen. Stop attributing human qualities to this piece of data. It's not the same thing as real people. It's just a corpus that has nothing to do with the people that generated it. Hmm. And besides, don't you want Eliza to help more people? This is how we get there. And who am I to argue with that? These are reasonable points. But I don't know. I think maybe something does live on. Even when you take the names out, even when you anonymize, people's stories are still inside there. In some form, in some way. I just want to make sure we have some respect welcome to your first moral decision in tech Berlin. it certainly won't be your last it's not much of a decision like you said i don't really have a choice i just have to go along with it i was so amazingly lucky to get this opportunity running the whole arainer took a big chance on me i can't just walk away from that besides if i left because of something like this i'd be giving up all the ways i can make a difference rainer isn't a bad person either he's just pushing for his own goals I need to see this through. I'll do what he's asking me to do. Sorry. Thanks for listening to me talk in this confusion. I'm usually more together than this. I've probably kept you from something important. No, it's okay. Uh -huh. I'd already finished up work for the day when you texted. People seem to assume I'm busy, but I'm really not. Later tonight, I'm going to visit a friend, but that's all I have going. Okay. Well, sorry. You can stop apologizing. Right. S uh, right. Thanks, Evelyn. Well, I for one should get back to the office. Mm -hmm. Another. Is it with the team in Romania? No, the Boston office this time. It's late for them, so I should try to get it done quickly. А, это это. Та бабенка. Я все имена путаю. Так. О. 
Окей. Эй! Sorry about the mess. А, подружайка. Oh, it's fine. Not like my place is super clean or any. Is this all music equipment? Most of it. There are some controllers I was working on. I wanted to create this real-time control apparatus. You know, like that thing that Imogen keep. Uh huh. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's a it's a little fragile currently. I wanted my version to react to changes in my body temperature too, so it could get more. Or maybe it would really get going if I had a fever. <laughs> ah, I like that idea. Turning huh. sickness into art. Do you want anything to drink? Or I could set up a basic patch on the Euro rack for you to play. Oh, nastroyed. А давай, наверное, выпьем. Um, okay. Are you nervous? I think the best way to learn music is just diving in. All the way. You're willing to experiment and play around. You will learn. I'm really here to visit with you. Okay. Well, let me see if this amp is still working. After the show, it went... Music technology is just like any other kind. Once you learn the basic principles, I'm all just... Oh, that gives me an idea. You could take metrics from Eliza Sessions and have them direct... A... Like if you took the head tilt value or the eye tracking and used them to drive the parameters of pitch and filter, it'd be like... <laughs> that doesn't sound like something a counseling client might want. Oh no, I didn't mean for the client to listen to. I meant it more like uh, if you were going to make like a performance art piece based on a person in counseling. Uh huh. See Um, I think I do. Ugh, I miss having access to those cameras and sensors. I should have kept some. I bet those components would have enjoyed being liberated for that of being used to degrade our humanity one little bit at a time. Thanks. Okay. It's true, isn't it? Yes, absolutely sure. Maybe this huge database of people's deep dark secrets is going to be used 100% properly. Maybe it will always be kept completely safe and we can completely trust Skanda to do the right thing 10 years from now. 20 years. Sorry, I know you still might work there. I just have so little confidence in these people. They act like they have all the answers, instead of listening to people's concerns. A fuck. And if you ask them why they aren't listening, they can't even explain. You've been a proxy for a while. I bet you've already seen some privacy mistakes. Or at least some things that made you think. Так. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I knew it. A guy like Rainer doesn't get that he might not be allowed to do certain things. Is that really the future you want to help build? It, it's not even that I don't trust Rainer, even though I don't. I wouldn't trust anyone with a store of data like that. It wouldn't be so difficult for employers, government, anyone. Everything. They'll know your face, your body, your medical history. It's kind of like a nightmare to imagine it. That's why I left. That's why I thought it was important for me to... Yeah, I have those doubts too. <sighs> if I still worked for Rainer and I said these, you know how it works, Evelyn. You have to be a true believer to last long at a place like that. Once you develop doubts, you are you a true believer? strange when he thinks Eliza could be the base for some kind of general or no strong AI really ah uh, there's something about the books is everything so totalizing so utopian I think I don't think you can spend longer than a few days in a tech company executive suite before huh. you
What if it's true, though? So what? What if it is? Say Raynor is right, huh? And Eliza becomes the big. What does that mean for you? How do you want to take responsibility for that? Okay, I need a drink now. Hold your thought. You like absinthe, don't you? I think I do. Maybe. Mmm. You'll like this. My mm, 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 mm. Thieves. Oh, Kisa. Thanks. Hey, hey, who's that texting you so much? Has Evelyn found a special friend? No, it's not like that. Ah, too bad. It's this guy named Erland. I guess he's the new head of engineering for Eliza. Huh, I never heard of him. He must have started recently? Yeah, less than a year ago. Right out of school. Oh, wow. A little baby engineer. How cute. Hmm. Ever since I met him, he's been messaging me a lot. My goodness, so he likes you. I don't think it's like that. No? Isn't that the textbook case of liking someone? Lots of messages all the time. It's really more like, he needs some kind of mentor figure. He reminds me of how we were when we graduated. Unsure what to think about the decisions these companies make. I hope you're telling him to run away while he still can. When he first introduced himself, he said he had questions for me about Eliza. I thought he meant, like, technical or architectural questions. Instead, he wanted to talk more generally about what was the code name for Eliza during development, what was Damien like, or if I think the same way Raynor does about Eliza's future. And you told him, no, Raynor is clearly in some bizarro world, right? That it's a tech executive's utopian fantasy and it won't come huh. to pass, at least not in the way he thinks. to encourage him to think for himself. Ah, Evelyn. Look, I don't know much about the motivation in your life, but if it's truly your... Go back to Skanda headquarters and work for Raynor and earn a big salary. At least you know what you're getting into. You would be surrounded by smart people and advanced tech... It would be nice. I understand it. And while you're in that position, maybe you could uh, develop some kind of next level... <laughs> Who knows, right? Mm. It's only that... I can't imagine your technology. Maybe Reiner promises that it will be. Do you trust him? 
What about the group? What if the company merges with another one and the leadership changes? I wish I didn't sound so negative about this, but lately it's been a soul-searching time for me and my... We have a lot of conversations about what we can do when our work is so easily used for morally questionable purposes. Do we try to control how our inventions are applied? Is that even possible? Or do we say, we only invented it, we didn't tell you how to use it, it's not our fault. That's why I envy you a little bit for wandering off like you did. Sometimes I think that's the only real solution. I know that wasn't exactly a positive thing for you, Evelyn, but I wonder if it's the better choice in the end. Doing nothing at all. Technically, I worked at a bookstore for part of the time. That's, it's weird, it feels like no time at all. I can hardly remember any of it. For me, it's hard to imagine. I always have to be working mm. and I get so unhappy and restless if I'm not doing something all the time. What is it like to do nothing? Well, at first I tried to be productive. I would get up in the morning like I meant to go to work, get dressed. I told myself I just needed to take it easy. Things at Skanda had been so intense. I felt like I'd been crumpled up into a... I wasn't sure I'd ever be able to relax again. I wish I could say I took advantage of the time that I went out and did things, or, but I didn't. I started to sleep in, and I started staying in bed even though I was awake. This blankness would come over me, and all of the things I'd promised I'd do fell away. I stopped keeping in touch. I let conversations die. Неплохой скринчик был бы. Ой, дожди-ка. I thought that my technical contributions to the world were over with, and that maybe I'd just work that bookstore job for the rest of. Прикольный кадр. Тикс. I was by myself and I thought that was all right. I thought that's how it is, really. Everyone's alone. I'm just I was 31 when I left Soren's group. I just slept into my night. So, now here I am. Evelyn I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not saying something this whole time. I should have contacted you. It's all right. You had to live your own life, right? You notice someone isn't posting and it's just like, maybe that I understand. Well, I hope you feel better now. I suppose that sometimes it takes a while. Maybe. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm not even sure I know how to think anymore. Then forget it for now. Hey, Evelyn. Yeah? You want to get super high and watch cyber goth music videos? <laughs> I... Uh, you heard me. Oh. Круто. Yes. Yes, I do. Mm, I knew you were a woman of refined tastes. Ого, уже глава пятая, так быстро. Рей. Good morning, Evelyn. There are lemon bars in the kitchen. Thanks. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing big. Apparently some famous writer I never heard of wrote an essay about how Eliza is bad because it represents the mechanization. I should be used to it. We're a pretty big target, right? Still, it gets on my nerves. We work hard to build something with value and then some self-styled intellectual... Yeah. To guys like him, everything's a doom and gloom scenario. This kind of thinking never bothers you? Uh... I guess I'll have to read it. There was this quote from someone who worked on Eliza who turned into a big critic. Nora something. Did you work with her? I did. She's a friend. Actually. Yeah? What's she like? 
I'm curious how you go from building something to turning around and disparaging it publicly. She's an artist and musician now. She used to be really shy and reserved, but lately she's become... Even back then, though, she had a pretty strong idea of what was right and what was wrong. She left Skanda at some point after I did. Maybe the battles took their toll, or she wasn't able to win enough. These days, she focuses on electronic art and music and activism. I think she's pretty popular, at least in those circles. Well, it must be nice to have the ability to live that way. Right. What about Damien? Do you think it would be fair to his memory to abandon work? Wouldn't he want these mental health tools accessible to everyone? How do you know about that? The other day, I was looking at more of your papers. The ones from when you were at the university, and that's when I saw Damien's page. It didn't have much information on it, but I understand a I'm sorry, Evelyn, it's just that all of us, you and me and Damien and even Norm And the thanks we get is people talking in big generalizations about how we're- Is Eliza perfect? No. No intervention is perfect. The world is in a full-on mental health crisis, and this is one of the tools we have in our toolkit. I'm not some wild-eyed idealist about this. I know- but Can you see that most people don't have the luxury of turning- Think about the clients you've met as a proxy. Would you tell them to not take the medications that help them be functional? Would you tell them to stop coming to therapy because what they should really be doing is completely changing the way our- I Sorry, I'm- I'm ranting. I just- I'd rather do something that can help people- A small step. Eliza helped me, you know? It really did. I was one of the first clients. Originally, I was just- I remember once I was talking about my brother, and, and listening to myself, I realized just how many expectations- Ever since then, I've been thinking about that, but- what if we failed my brother? I guess what I mean is, sometimes when we talk out loud, and that's why I won't give up on this approach. No matter what anyone says, pundits, critics, former employees, I'll understand if you don't want to work on Eliza, but um, I think what you created has value. <sighs> don't mind me. Uh, you should get to your session. Actors client. Holiday. Holy, holy, holiday. Так, подожди, а сколько? А, час. Час. Может, так, с ней немножко потусоваться. Hello, Holiday. It's nice to see you again. This is a pretty comfortable chair, you know that? Креслица. Wouldn't mind having a chair like this in my place. How have you been since our last session? Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried, Eliza, I tried. I asked about the medication for Panza. I went to the pharmacy and they said, that'll be $162. Uh -huh. And I said, I, don't, I said, is there a generic? And they said, there's no generic of this, but there's another drug that they, do you know anything about that? I'm sorry to hear you had a difficult time. Is there something that would make it better? The medical procedures they can do now are out of this. I was talking to someone who told me she has wires in her brain. Would you let them do that? I'd be worried about them changing the way I think. It's for essential tremors. That's what she said. It helps her not shake so much. There's always something. Something gets you. Did you ever think about what you might have been in a previous life? I know you're a therapist now, but maybe in the past you were a gardener attending to the... That's what it feels like to me. You like to let things go. It isn't so different from having a conversation with someone whose company you enjoy. Not that I believe in all that, you know. Everyone has got a different philosophy. That's not something I talk about much. Huh. I'd like to write a book one day. A book about things I've seen over the years. Think anyone would read a book I wrote? I'm just kidding. I don't think I could write a book. It's a plus. It takes a certain kind of mind, you know, a mind to create. Not everyone is dedicated enough to do that, you know. There's a writer who lives on my floor. Most of the time, he looks miserable. Sometimes he comes over for a cup of herbal tea. And I think he's maybe lived in the building the longest. Half. He doesn't say much. His head is in the clouds all the time. There's not a lot of people who really want to talk, you know. Not people say hello and move on. It's a very withdrawn. You don't say much either, but I like talking to you. Feels like you're listening to me. I like that. I like that. I'm glad you like it. 
While you're here, is there anything else you'd like to do? There was a man on the bus with a guitar yesterday. You're not supposed to play guitar on the bus. Well, you're not supposed to play anything on the bus, but he... Maybe the operator didn't think he was bothering anyone, or maybe she... Didn't. I've noticed more bus operators seem like they don't care. Anyway, it reminded me. You used to hear more music around here. Do you People know? playing their guitars on the street. You know, these sh... I don't see too many of those around anymore. There is one gentleman who has an old plastic... Gun. He's a nice man. I've seen him around. I saw another man once with beads in his hair. He was playing a flute, a Native American wooden you play an instrument or anything like that? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand the question. When I was young, my mother had this idea I would play the violin. I have no idea where she got that notion. We weren't a musical family, not I tried it for a while, but of course it didn't work out. The teacher would say, okay, here's how it's supposed to go. And she would play this nice, beautiful melody. La da dee da da da. Okay, now you try it. And then I draw my bow back and I go... <laughs> it takes a special talent to make a violin sound like that, don't you? Isn't that just the funniest thing? <laughs> Eventually, my mother realized it was a lost cause and she didn't push me. I was never too good at anything artistic. Just not the artistic type, you know? I think artists have a different mind. They have to be a Do you ever wish that you could be an artist? No, I have enough trouble already. Holiday, I'm going to suggest you try a program called Dolphin Smiles. It may help you take your mind off things. You can find it inside the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Hmm. Oh, my phone broke. I forgot to mention. The screen is cracked and you can't see much on it. I don't know if it would work anyway. A lot of the new stuff doesn't. That's okay. You can also access the program from a desktop computer. Simply log into the Skanda Wellness Portal from the website. Oh, well, then I'll just have to go down to the library at some point. We hope to see you back soon, Holiday. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Right, right. Goodbye. Goodbye for now. Take care of yourself. It's a strange world out there. Tax, 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 tax. Продолжить. Продолжить. Чё, Нердика?
понятненько. Чего? Ага. Письма, значит, да? Ага. Так, ладненько. Где такие сообщения? Это что? Hey, Ray, the transparency mode I just did. I think one of our clients is in a really bad situation right now. Oh? Yeah, uh, sometimes that happens. People come in and their lives are in a really unfortunate place. It can be hard to see sometimes. I wish there was something we could do. This person's getting ground down for no reason, just... I'm sorry, Evelyn. There's not much we can do. All of what you learn in transparency mode has to stay confidential. The only exception is suspected child abuse and neglect, which you're required to report if you're a social worker. But proxies aren't really social workers, per se. Eliza... Probably something for a future court to decide. Either way, we can't try to fix people's lives on our own, no matter how much our... I think there's an email somewhere with a summary of our policy on... No, it's fine. I'm fine. It's, it's just hitting me hard right now. I understand. It takes strength to focus on the role and not get distracted. Mm. Think of it like, say, someone hired you to install something in their home. And even if there isn't actual violence you're seeing, it's clear things are kind of off some... It's unfortunate, but there's not much you can do in that situation. You kind of just... If it's not at the level where you need to make a call to emergency services right then and there, then it's just just an unhappy and most people would argue it's not your business sorry i know that's not the answer you want to hear i know it happens that a lot of people live in i just i'm just sad the way she did two whole sessions with me with eliza but didn't say anything about her real problems ray what am i doing i wanted to make something that would help people instead i made something useless you don't think she got some companionship out of Eliza? Sometimes that's really a help, especially for someone who might be feeling lonely. Yeah, but I could have just talked to her. I could have just spoken to her myself. Why would that be any different? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here, or even... Is there a decision? The world is going to be full of grief and sorrow no matter what I do. Evelyn, did you think about what I suggested? What? Trying Eliza for myself? Yeah. I'm not saying it'll magically fix things. Huh. I just maybe I will. I don't know why I never did. 
Even when I was working on it, I, it might have been too obvious to me what it was doing. Eliza is really simple at its core, mm -hmm. you know? It just it tries to reflect what the person says back at them. Pretty much like the... It's just a smoother version of an idea from half... Anything you've read that makes it sound fancier than that is just a bunch of... It's a mirror. The thing I like about a mirror is that it has no agenda. Hmm. Unmisted by love. Promise me you'll get help somehow, in some way. Okay, Evelyn? I... Sorry, I should answer this. Arrainer. Let me guess. Messaging with Rainer again? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt our conversation. I would too. Are you kidding? I totally understand. I guess I'm going to be headed downtown to meet with Summoned from on high. I have something to ask, Evelyn, and it's okay if you... Whatever you end up getting involved in, uh, you're a really cool person, and I... I hope you find the future you want. Me too, Ray. I really hope I do. Tops. Что там опять? Сорен, это прикол.
Так, да, да, да. Рейнар, нифига себе. Прикольный у него тут кабинетик у Рейнера, блин. Такс. Что, скрин так сделать или как сделать? В принципе, можно так. Такс. Like some tea? Ну давай. Sure. Why did you show me someone's back? That's not a surprise anymore. These the man who enjoys society's respect behaves poorly, and as we accept that as common today. But would you really be okay working with someone like? That was a huge violation of. You really don't care about others. Privacy. Everyone's worried about privacy. Skanda wouldn't be where it is today if our customers didn't trust them. We employ most, if not all, of the top experts in cybersecurity, unlike our competitors. We do more to protect our data than they That's not the case I'm worried about. I mean, misuse from, for example, if someone wanted to keep tabs on former... Oh, but what if it was perfectly legal, due to multiple agreements that they could... Are you done questioning me like a tech jerk? Do you watch my therapy sessions too? Do you read my email? My texts? No, I haven't done any of that. How's your research into Eliza proxy use cases go? Any new insights to share? I'm not sure it's really helping people. Our metrics indicate otherwise. Of course, it's only human to concentrate on a small number of corners. I heard Soren gave you a demo of his direct stimulation. How's he doing now? Oh. It's interesting technology. You could make or break his startup. Isn't it nice to have power? Do you find his vision compelling? A world free of suffering? Maybe. By focusing on dreams, Soren is trying to defend his the Western psychological tradition. Chiefly Jung and his inherent. I'm not familiar with it. Well, there's no need to be. It's just a bunch of, let's be honest, what has this field actually accomplished? Soren used to try to argue with me about this. He would claim that traditional psychoanalysis has helped. I would never dispute that directly. Instead, I would only... Tarot cards help people all over the world. It doesn't mean it's a science. Psychology is more rigorous than you're making. Yes, that's exact. Not only did he believe psychotherapy was worthwhile, he also, as if there was some undefinable, ineffable, it's all part of his silly, syncretic, new age belief system. I keep an open mind, but saying that something can't be represented with, after all, numbers have been used to represent. Consider the example we spoke about before, a poem. The answer is, of course, poems are either good, mediocre, or bad. It's in by aggregating a large enough sample size, it would work the same way Eliza does. Eliza. В смысле, по цифрам, что ли, или как? ХЗ. Так. You're talking about an algorithm. Yes, algorithms can evaluate poems. And one day, 
algorithms will write. I know this sounds like a controversial opinion, Evelyn. Mm. What would be the point of that? It doesn't matter. There's no. If we don't take this step, others will. There Everyone are... wants to be in this business. The business of. And at the end of the day, it's not about money. Brainer, do you ever get tired? The constant drive to compete. To win. No, I don't. This is what you I... You never dream of just retiring somewhere and writing poetry. Oh, there's no need for me to write. All beauty in this world is temporary. That's the truth that underlies poetry. The pleasures of the senses are just small bubbles on top. I'm telling you this because it's directly relevant. Soren says he can induce you to dream, th and maybe he can. But what comes after having the power to experience the dream of anything you're, you're still just as trapped as you've always been? Even if someone like Soren managed to create a world for himself, he would poison his own fantasy. His utopia would crumble. Rainer, what are you trying to tell me? What I'm trying to tell you is that what Soren is a dream by itself. Take a close look at the person who chases an end to suffering. And Maybe not. But it can be a start. What is your dream, Evelyn? What is it that you're working towards? Just tell me what you want from me. I've been very clear about it, haven't I? I'm offering you the opportunity to re-enter the field you pioneered. I can build you an entirely new research lab. Equip you would have access to the world's top engineers and researchers as we continue to develop Eliza's. You'd also be working with the world's most interesting data set. The input provided by the soon this generalized intelligence will be everywhere human beings. You and Soren have more in common than you'd want to admit. You think we're both grandiose? Soren, think about the vision here. General artificial intelligence. It's nothing short of the creation of a new type of organism. And you, Eliza, could be at the very center of it. Eliza. Well, I mean, Evelyn. That was an interesting slip of the tongue. Stop it. The Eliza project occupies much of my mind. It clearly does. Plus, the names are similar. I'm starting to wonder why. Evelyn, listen to me. This is the chance to lead a project that will change the world. Hmm. It would be a development on the same order as the whole. It would fundamentally transform. I'm not sure I want to transform. What? Do you like the way things are now? Lie back and let the sweep of history bury you if you want to. Just know you'll never have a chance like this again. Семь коротких вопросов.
нифига себе. Прикольно. Теперь мы как клиент а, получаемся, да? Интересненько. Так. Ладно, все это, конечно, очень интересно, хорошо, прикольненько. Но давайте, а, как сказать, а, прикол. Какой прикол? А, что мы сами стали клиентом Элизы. Посмотрим, что Элиза скажет о нас. Сама программа. Вот. И я так понимаю, что Элиза находится на очках вот этой бабы. То есть, заметьте, у нее на очках прибор. Это, короче, Элиза. Вот а... Ой, ой, извините, программа, которой э, экранчик был у нас с другой стороны, экранчик с ее стороны. Ну ладно. Все это, конечно, интересно. Но всем спасибо за внимание. Мы остановились на интересненьком моменте по поводу Элисы. Сюжет развивается, но очень медленно. Как сказать... Нудноватенько. Интересно, конечно, но... Блин. Я ожидал немножко большего. Впечатления от игры смешанные, но не говорю, что это плохая игра, это средняя игра. Но... Посмотреть бы концовки, к чему это все приведет. А так, в принципе, нормально, но... Скорее всего, на один раз. Вот как-то так. А с вами был Денис. Всем до новых встреч. Будем видеться в других интересных игрушках. Стрелялки, квесты, новеллы. Все-все-все интересное, что вы бы могли пропустить. Спасибо, что остаетесь с нами. Ставите лайки, приглашайте друзей. Не забывайте про колокольчик, чтобы не пропустить много интересного, дружочек. А с вами был Денис. Всем до новых встреч. Всем удачи. Всем пока-пока.